Said one more. I'll leave one more out. Good. As I was saying, our right. first thumb drive is the 128 gig Corsair Flash Voyager GT. There you go. Ooh. Look at that. It claims to be stripe. the world's fastest USB thumb drive. Uh, so, is it true? Um, it was the fastest in our testing. Now, it copies data at about 28 megabytes per second, which is, which is pretty snappy. It, it's a little big, so it might take up to two USB ports if they're right next to each other on your laptop. You can see there in the shot. But I think the size is worth it because it is water resistant and also the casing is shockproof. Overall, I think it is worth the $400 for super fast, wow. resilient, 128 gig thumb drive. And you got to keep in mind, 128 gigs crammed into that size, $400 is actually not that bad. It's kind of a tank. It is. It is a little bit of a tank, like a rubbery tank, though. You can sort of bounce it around. It 128 over there. gigs, $400. Get so it out of here. we're gonna say a buy. We're gonna say a buy on this one if you got the cash. Right. It's a buy. Our second is a four gigabyte Iron Key Personal S200. Here it is. There oh, this one's is. fancy. Yeah. Iron Key says it's the world's most secure thumb drive because of the cryptographic trip, uh, chip that provides 256-bit encryption. So, how exactly do they implement this secure tag? I would like to tell you that, Veronica Belmont. They've got built-in software, which is insanely easy to use, so it automatically prompts you for the password to unlock it. And put on your awesome belts, it has its own Firefox browser, so you can surf yeah. straight from the drive, no matter where you are. Uh, you can store all your passwords on it, you can remotely disable the drive from their site in case it gets stolen or you lose it, because these things get lost easily. Mm -hmm. And it is even water and shockproof uh, to military specs. I mean, you have, to put the, you have to put the cap on. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Oh. I hope you didn't have anything too valuable on there. No, 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 no. No, just a bunch of flash porn. But it is expensive. <laughs> this is four gigs for $112. Ooh. Four gigs for 112 bucks. But wow. listen, if security is your big issue, then maybe it's, it's worth it to you. So we're going to say it's a buy, mainly because of the security <laughs> hook. Oh, screw it. I'll leave it in the water. Just leave it in there. Why not? Proof of concept. That's right. Our third uh, thumb drive works with USB and external SATA. It's the 64-bit Kangaroo E-Flash. There it is. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't. We didn't. We didn't know if it was Kangaroo or, or Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Yeah. But there is a little. It, kangaroo sounds like a Japanese kangaroo monster. Kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo. -a. a lot of laptops have an E-SATA port because it's about five times faster than normal USB. Um, but it is common enough to make it. You know, to have to pay the extra for the E-SATA on here. We think it is. Listen, E-SATA. The transfer rates are. Ridiculous, like three gigs a second. So if you remember, if you remember just a minute earlier when I said Corsair was 28 megs a second, you can see what an alarming jump in speed that is. Not to mention, it's also just as fast as the Corsair through the USB. Ah. Again, low pricey, 64 gig thumb drive, but the speed and eSATA port make it worth the $180 you will spend on it. So we're going to say a buy on this one too. I just get these things free at, at conferences. Well, and everyone can go to a conference, yeah, Veronica Belmont. I'm kind of fancy like you that. are very fancy. Our our fourth is another 128 gig drive, the Kingston Data Traveler. But ba 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 Yep, complete with sound effects. Yes, this one is one of the smallest high capacity drives we've ever seen, but it can copy files just as fast as the Corsair from earlier, can it? It's it's close. It's really Ooh, it's close. Like uh, it's those a little behind in speed. It is half as large as the Voyager, uh, which you can see actually. You can hold up the sizes there. Oh, hey, look at this big old redneck right here, and then oh, I'm a little tiny guy. <laughs> It is also $35 cheaper at $365, bucks, making it actually one of the most affordable 128 gig drives you can buy. I mean, you know, you keep in mind, all these, thing, all these prices will come down in like six months or a year. I know, flash, flash prices go down they, really they, fast. They drop pretty quickly. But overall, this is a great choice if you need the highest capacity. Yes, and our final drive is another one from Corsair, the 32 gigabyte Flash Survivor. Is this? I thought this was the Genesis device. Uh, <laughs> you sure? It's a tiny little time capsule, actually. It looks like it, yeah. Yeah, it's water resistant up to 200 meters. It's shockproof. A there it is. Yeah, shock there. proof. Go Shocking. ahead and hit it. Who cares? It's the, also the cheapest in our rapid fire, uh, so, it can, so it can live up to the claims that it makes. I mean, those are pretty, pretty intense claims. I don't know, Veronica. Ah! Whoops, what have I done? Oh, uh, don't worry, though. It's just whoops, I tripped. Ah! Uh oh, well, now that's got to be ruined. Wait, that wasn't the waterproof one. No, it's not yes, ruined. Yes, it is. I'm just kidding. No, it totally is. I mean, did we just turn into an infomercial? <laughs> that's right, Veronica Belmont. You can get the Flash Survivor, the most rugged drive we've used, and it's incredibly stable. Veronica, we put it through different testings. Uh, we dropped through Dunk It, and it came through with flying colors. That's although good. I dropped the character halfway through. I'm bad like that. Uh, it also, by the way, did have the slowest data transfers in our rapid fire, but it's only 80 bucks, and it's 32 gigs and Cheap. indestructible, and it looks it looks awesome. So it does uh, look pretty awesome. There you I go. That's like another buy. Like I'm gonna go with another buy. Like a it is a little bit of a light.
that saver without the awesome light uh, shooting at the end. Well, that's it for today's Gadget Prawn. But if you have a gadget you would like to see us rate, let us know by sending a note to gadgetprawn at g4tv.com. Indeed.